Hey guys, it's Mary, and I'm back with an all-new Raw video vlog. Um, sorry I wasn't on last week. Uh, I know it was the go-home show to WrestleMania, but it was my birthday, and um, I was busy all week, and I wasn't having a very good week, so um, I didn't get done. But I'm back now, and I'm here to recap the crazy best Raw of the year, the Raw after WrestleMania. So let's get to it. Uh, Vince came out. You know, just to rub in everybody's faces that he was right. And then Shane came out to thank everybody and to thank his father. Or, you know, tell him that he won, basically. And he was, you know, the better man. Not the better man. He actually said that he was the only man. And uh, Vince thought he was trying to upstage him. So Vince put him in charge of Raw for the night. So Vince uh, left. And Shane McMahon was uh, in charge for the night. So... It was kind of weird to start off. They, you know, made note of the crowd that it's a crazy crowd because everybody's still there from WrestleMania and they're pretty much completely drunk at this point. <laughs> so, you know, it was weird that they addressed it. They kind of tried to make it, I guess, part of the show or just, you know, they were like, well, we might as well cut our losses now because they're going to try to hijack the whole thing. Which they didn't really do, like, an awful. It wasn't as bad as previous years, but they still were very vocal. So... Other than Shane being in charge, which I think he did a pretty good Raw. It was, it, I don't think it was weird. I thought it was a really good Raw. Was it the greatest? No. But, I mean, it had great moments. Um, there was a lot of NXT call-ups on Monday. We got the debut of Apollo Crews on the main roster, who had a really quick match against poor Tyler Breeze. He's like Dolph Ziggler, Zach Ryder, like all rolled in the one. Um, he debuted and he had a pretty quick squash match. And then we had Baron Corbin who showed up in the Battle Royal, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle on Sunday, and I was like the only person who noticed it, and then he won. So he won that, and then he had his debut against poor Dolph Ziggler. It resulted in a double count out, but they're there. But the biggest NXT premiere, or debut, sorry, that happened was Enzo and Cass finally got called up, and they came out and cut a promo on the Dudley Boys, and they were amazing. They probably got one of the biggest pops of the night. I don't know, it's like a... I was trying to figure out who got the biggest pop of the night, which I'll get into the other people who got big pops, but uh, Enzo and Cass had a huge pop. They had a lot of chance going. The guys are dynamite. Enzo is dynamite on the mic. Shout out. He's actually from Jersey. He's actually related to a friend of mine, so it was really cool to see him on the main roster, and I think they're going to do big things, even if they're not the greatest technical tag team. They're very much in the vein of when they do their thing of uh, DX and the New Age Outlaws, so it's going to be really cool. It's fresh blood in the tag team division. Um, the women's title, yes, the women's title, because of the women's division, the diva term is finally retired. Uh, Lita brought out the belt on, or the title, on Sunday, and then she presented it to Charlotte yesterday, who won the triple threat on Sunday, if you didn't watch. And um, it's a great day to be... a woman in the WWE, but it's a great day to be a fan, too, because, you know... They're now superstars. They're not, they're equals. And just proving that the men and the women are equal and the women are just as good as men because that was the match that stole the show on Sunday. Let's be honest. The triple threat was the best match of the night. I had friends over here who don't watch wrestling and they were totally into it. So congratulations, WWE, for getting out of the prehistoric uh, ages and making everybody equal. And I'm super, super excited. And there wasn't a Bella in sight. And it was it was a beautiful thing last night. I feel bad for Nikki Bella because I know she's really trying to make a comeback. And it's, you know, rumored that she will never uh, wrestle full time again. But it's a new day. And I'm really, really happy. And, you know, I'm a feminist. I'm not a crazy feminist. But it was really, really nice. It's getting pressed everywhere. And it's a good move for the WWE because you need strong role models for little girls, especially if you want kids watching your products. So that was cool. On a bad note, Zack Ryder, 24 hours Intercontinental Champion, won in the opening match of WrestleMania 32, complete shock to everybody, and Dave LaGreca called it on Busted Open, and he lost the next night to The Miz, but Maurice made her return. I don't know what her status is, but now I guess in New Division, maybe she's coming back. I, I don't, I wasn't actively watching when Maurice was around, so I don't know, like, how great she is, but, you know, they're getting fresh blood in all the divisions right now, so that was pretty cool that Maurice finally made her return. Uh, she's gonna be on SmackDown with Miz, so I can just assume that she's back. Um, and then the highlight of the night was there was a fatal four-way for the number one contendership for the WWE World Heavyweight 
title. Rumories came out and said anybody who wants to come get some, basically kind of stealing John Cena's, you know, wording, but saying it in his own way. Not a heel promo, not a face promo, basically being, you know, a douche and saying, I don't care if you guys want me, this is what you got, and I'm the man now. Which I think is like kind of a shot at Seth Rollins too. I can't wait for Seth Rollins to come back and shut him up. So we'll see. So Jericho came out and then AJ came out and then Kevin Owens came out and then Sami Zayn came out. And basically Shane McMahon put them in a fatal four-way for the number one contendership. Uh, Kevin Owens took out Sami Zayn backstage. Rumor that he got injured. Rumors are that he's not injured. I don't know. But he got taken out of the match. And she said it was still going to be a fatal four-way with a new content competitor, and Cesaro returned. And that's why I was saying pop. Cesaro had a huge, huge pop. I don't know if Cass, I think it was bigger than his own Cass. Everybody was super stoked. It was amazing, 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 amazing main event. And then the shocker of the year, AJ Styles is the number one contender for the world heavyweight title and I couldn't be happier for him nobody deserves it more than him the crowd chanted you deserve it after the show went off the air he was almost in tears and what a three months for this guy who said would ne everybody said he would never be in the WWE and now he's here and I don't think he's gonna beat Roman Reigns but I also don't know what's gonna happen is the Bullet Club coming is the Baylor Club coming is AJ gonna reunite are they gonna actually still try to push Roman Reigns face and turn AJ heel which I think would be the biggest mistake ever because AJ is their number one baby face right now. You got AJ, you got Zayn, and they could be the faces that you need. And AJ is so over. And anybody who, you know, thought that he wasn't going to be over, including Vince, is probably eating crow right now. Um, it would be a huge mistake to turn him. It would be a great time to turn Roman because AJ, I mean, I don't know, there was a video on WWE, Michael Cole did a sit down with him this week, and he is quite possibly the best baby face, I'm a family man, I'm a Christian, like he, and he's so humble, uh, don't turn AJ heel, not at this point, let him go, I don't think he's gonna win, but I think that that's the guy that they need if they're looking for a face right now, uh, he's the underdog, nobody ever thought he would make it here, and he's made a huge impact since debuting on the WWE roster and much to the thanks of Chris Jericho because he's a pro and he made him, he knew how big he is. So I'm super happy. I'm actually excited for Raw next week because I want to see what happens. There's fresh blood everywhere, you know, and if you were going to have a veteran in the match, you want to have Jericho because Jericho always does the right thing and he's still amazing in the ring. So other than that, that's about it. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Mayor underscore Bear. Follow Busted Open at Busted Open Radio. Uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on all those, you know, platforms, Periscope, uh, go to BustedOpenNation.com, which you should be on right now if you're watching this video, um, listen to Busted Open Monday, Tuesdays, Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. on Sirius XM Rush 93, and until next week, I, or you guys will see me, I'm gonna go do some tours or whatever, because I have no life, and I will talk to you later, Wait.